Hello everybody and welcome to my brand new series, Benny Knows Volume. So Volume is the new game highly anticipated from the studio that brought you Thomas Was Alone. Uh, that's Mike Biffle and his team of developers. Now, it's a stealth game with puzzle aspects to it, very reminiscent of the Metal Gear Solid series, especially the VR missions in it. It does have a story going on in it, so I will be quiet throughout for some of these cutscenes and conversations because they are quite witty and they do have that nice British sense of humour from uh, Mike Biffle and his team, which is always good to see. Now, so we're going to jump right into it. First steps. Welcome to Grisborne Industries. This is a simple starter map. Should help you get the grips with basic movement and help our state-of-the-art art AI calibrate to your needs. Sounds simple enough. Oh, Cutscene, I'll be quiet now. Three hours earlier. Okay. <laughs> Looked very intriguing, to be honest. Always good to see how the other half lives. Uh, identity obstruction mask activated. Uh, uh, Assets loading. Uh, loading. Uh, okay, 14 files missing, 2 files corrupted, minor errors located in source code lines 711 and 2300. Low tutorial 1. Uh, of course. <laughs> you don't mess around, eh? Uh, sorry. I'm being rude, aren't I? Not at all. Welcome to the volume. I represent the current high bar of Gisborne Industries training technology. Full volumetric projection in a 31 by 31 meter square. You've used a virtual training environment before, I assume? No, but uh, I'm excited to try. I I'm Rob, by the way. Hi, Rob. Alan. Alan? I can assure you that Artificial Life Solutions took great time and effort in focus testing my name. <laughs> Alan was arrived upon after many months of market research. Alan's your buddy. You know Alan. Of course I know Alan. I love Alan. Etc. I get it. Okay, Alan. Let's do this. Do you like the colour? Uh, beautiful. I'm capable of showing 16,000 colours. We can't have you shooting at drab enemies. Uh. You simulate weapons. Well, there wouldn't be much of a military training simulator if I didn't, Rob. These first few environments are focused on movement and evasion only. We'll get to the guns later. Awesome guns. No rush. Okay, that that was that was quite entertaining. Ah, I was going to explain movement here, but I see if it won't be necessary. Fantastic. Also, you're reading this, so you've worked out context actions. I'm going to go ahead and delete some of the upcoming tutorial text. So it looks like some of the some of the dialogue will just be in scenes like that. So I'm just going to wait around and play it out because it is obviously very funny from what I just saw. I quite like that. Diamonds in the rough. Having completed our starter environment, we'd like to introduce you to gems, a handy way to measure your progress. Diamond in the diamond in the diamond rough. Ladon's a good movie. Probably my favourite Disney movie. Gem subsystem activated. These are obviously meant to. These are obviously meant to represent pricey possessions. I don't really have the processing budget to model a hundred different kinds of trinket. So let's go a bit. Searching for Saurus for cinnamons of cheap minimalist. Collect them all to open the exit. I like it. I like it. Now, let's get the gems. Get the gems. Get the money. 
First you get the gems, then you get the money, then you get the power, then you get the women. You've done this before. In that order, exactly. Okay. You're picking this up fast. You've got previous experience, right? You've been a Gizbo employee for a while. You could say that. Well, the next time. This is a checkpoint. They will, well, check your point. Saving progress so The next environment focuses on beginner gunplay, but it looks like you might be beyond that. I'm experiencing temporary errors in my employee database. Standard guard training, right? Walking back and forth, keeping an eye on the family jewels. Yeah. <laughs> what else have you got? I tend to work a bit more subtly. Oh, infiltration. Knew it. Probably Black Ops, <laughs> Bond type stuff. Maybe that's why you're not in the database. Stealth. Pretty cool. Okay. Can do this. I'm applying a bit of simple AI to each guard. Enough for you to go up against. So, simulated stealth. Perfect. Stop. That pawn will see if you try to collect those gems. Press and hold L2. Way ahead of that. I've played about half an hour of this so far, so I know basic stuff in it. But I did reset the game, obviously, when I started, just so we started it all together at the start. Uh. So let's keep on going. That's not perfect, but it should help you practice the skills you'll need for what comes next. Thanks. Right, you don't want to talk about what comes next? Not really. <laughs> I only know bits and pieces. Hundreds of volumes installed up and down the country. They say it's the biggest private military spend since devolution. Hmm. Secretive. Like Bond. Architects, you're good. Which weaponry would you like simulated, sir? Uh, none for now. Uh, none for now. This is my kind of guy. We don't like... We don't like weapons. Great job. Sorry. Is that patronising? Apologies. Too, for the amount of capitalization used in this environment. May have ever done that. Yes, uh... Yeah, it's good. I always enjoy seeing games without a lot of, like, or no gunplay whatsoever. Because, I don't know, it's just... I, it sounds too cliche to say that guns are overdone in video games, which they are, to be honest. But, uh, so it's, it's good to see it done without that. Especially a good stealth game done without it. I know there are plenty out there. That's how come I appreciate indie games so much, because... They are like like this. This is reminiscent of Metal Gear Solid, but without some of the gunplay in it, which is, which is fantastic. Although a lot of a lot of indie games do do that, like uh, like they they take us back to the games we played when we were a child, like Super Meat Boy is reminiscent of so many older video games, and we've got we've got games reminiscent of arcade games, like the games that uh, what's it called the. Puppy Studios brings out. Oh, I forgot to read that blurb for you. We'll read it when we go back. Okay. My studies of prevalent simulation show that flushable toilets are incredibly important to the greater sense of presence. Use them to distract these pawns. Will do, boss. Okay, I see. Yeah, so that's that's how come I've got such a, such a soft spot for indie games, and they're all, they're made with so much love. Like not that other games aren't from AAA or AA developers, but when you get a small team of people together that all want to create the same dream, it just sometimes brings back some of the magic that we never get to see anymore. Because I, st I still obviously play AAA games and stuff stuff like that, Bravo. and I'm big fans of them. Most of them, I should say. But, uh, just indie games, they just, they have a sense of heart to them. We'll talk more about that later, though, because I could go on for ages about that. But we're gonna, this is where we're going to leave it for now. And I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Benny Knows Volume. Uh, this is across PS4. PC for about 
sixteen dollars or sixteen dollars to twenty dollars, I believe. It's it's a good price. I but I recommend you pick it up for one of the played so far. It's got user generated levels. You make your own levels in it, which is fantastic. We'll get into some of that later. But for now I'm gonna leave it here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a subscription. Uh and remember, Benny knows.